Okay, so I've hit the engine with a coat of primer. I'll give it 10 minutes and uh, hit it with another coat. And I'll start uh, painting it tonight. Hopefully this thing will be uh, all fresh looking in a slightly darker coat of uh, gray paint. Also finished off these brackets here. There's one actually for the engine that will be painted separately. And all that. So, there you go. Right now I'm also trying to get some parts for the uh, brakes for the uh, truck here. I've taken the drums off the back and I took the front wheel off the front and I'm going to pull the caliper off the front just to verify with uh, Napa exactly what I've got in the front here. I know it's a Dana 44 axle in the front and a Dana 60 in the back. But the Dana 60 in the back doesn't appear to be the original one and I only say that because the drum that came with it I'll go over and have a quick look at that. Not that you're going to see anything, but the drum here doesn't look like what uh, Napa has listed for it. As a matter of fact, the dimensions aren't even right. Now, the uh, the Napa book and some other resources say that the uh, inner diameter of the drum is about, or supposed to be about, 11 and 5 uh, 30 seconds when new and this one is more than 12 it's actually close to 12 and an eighth um, that kind of tends to hint to me that uh, that the axle might be from something like a 67 to a 70 uh, pickup since those ones were uh, were 12 inch drums and given the uh, you know some certain amount of wear this one might have been worn outwards to you know 12 and an eighth although that's greater than the nominal or the maximum diameter for the uh, drum but it's more reasonable than expecting that this one has been worn three quarters of an inch outwards like that so I'm going to spend some time this weekend trying to verify that anyways back to painting Okay, so that's uh, two coats of primer. Uh, over rust, I wouldn't expect too much of a good effect here, but uh, hey, I just am trying to make it look a little bit better. I think I'll succeed in at least making it look a little better. In any case, uh, I'll give it one more coat, and then I guess I have to knock off because I still I'd have to wait for two hours before top coating it before I could. Uh, give it the uh, engine enamel. Now this is just regular self-etching primer. For the most part uh, it should be good. I'm wearing my respirator that's why things are a little muffled here but hey you gotta protect your lungs. In any case I think we're uh, just about done here. There you go. Three light coats of primer. Tomorrow I'll come out and we'll hit it with some uh, proper engine paint.